my goodness, taking a thumbnail for this is going to be a nightmare. Oh no, what have I done? Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video where I will be talking about all the series that I still need to finish. I did this video last year talking about all the series that I need to finish and I think since last year I have not finished any series or very few but I have definitely added some series so I have a large list of series that I need to finish and I would like to finish them soon because here's the issue I want to, I'm in the mood to sit down, start, and finish a whole new series. But I don't, I should not start a new series. I do not need to start a new series. I have so many that I'm in the middle of. Some of them are, all the books are out for the series, so I can finish them. So that's what I should focus on doing first, so I'm kind of making this video to remind me of all the series that I can finish. <laughs> before I go and start a new one. And in this video, I'm including duologies, trilogies, and series. So it's just any book that has any sort of, I'm not including companion novels, just like books that come after another. So I have six duologies. Also, one thing I should mention is that for some of these, I don't know how many books are gonna be in the series. So I don't know if they're just gonna be duologies just going to be trilogies. I, I'm not 100% on some of them, so I will let you know what ones I'm unsure of, but I think I have six duologies to start off with. So the first duology I want to talk about is the Storm Seasons of the Storm by El Casimano. I recently read the first book, and then the second book, Seasons of Chaos, came out pretty recently, I believe, and I will be getting the audiobook from my library for that one soon. I don't know if there's going to be another book after that or not, if it's just going to be the two, or if it's going to be three or more. I don't know. I really hope that it's only two though, because I don't, I like the storyline for this one, but I don't really want to read it past two books. I want the next book to be the ending. This basically follows the idea that uh, the seasons are actually human beings and there are multiple humans for every season and the seasons change by having the next season hunt and kill them and then they regenerate uh in like the world of chronos and then when it's time for their season they are released and they kill the previous season um so it's that kind of cycle our main characters here uh decide that they don't want to do that anymore because two of them are in love and so they decide to break out of Kronos' little area and they are in the real world and they're trying to figure out how they are going to survive and how they're going to escape Kronos. So I, I just started this. I read this in November so if you want to know more thoughts about it you can check out my November wrap up. Hopefully I will get to this in January and hopefully it will be the last book and I can just have that first duology be uh, ticked off and done. The Next books that I'm going to talk about, the second book has yet to come out. I, again, don't know if it's going to be a duology or if there are going to be more. It, these things aren't always said on Goodreads, and if they're not said on Goodreads, I don't really know because I just assume that the story itself is going to let me know if there's another book coming. Uh, but that is uh, The Ravens, and this is by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. And so I read this one as a part of my Witches Week in October, uh, so I will link that vlog up here or down below as well. I really enjoyed this book. It follows the sorority, which is also a coven of witches, and some spooky things start happening and they need to figure it out. So I read this one and I loved it. The Monarchs, I believe, is the second book that is coming out soon, so it's fair that I haven't finished it. But again, I started a new series relatively recently. The next one I'm going to talk about, I again started during my reading extravaganza, and that was for 
the ghost week and that is sheets so sheets has a second book called delicates i think it's just a duology i think again i'm so sorry i'm not informed on many of this but I read sheets I thought it was okay I kind of I was thinking that I would pick up delicates maybe next spooky season I'm not really in a rush to finish this just because I thought it was an okay book but I also if I I think I want to pick up delicates from like the library and read it and if I like it then I'll buy it and just have the complete duology if I kind of have the same meh feelings then I might just unhaul this one and just not own the series, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at for this one. Moving on, I have Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hingwen, and I am so excited. So this book follows a girl who just wants to dance, but her parents are not a big fan of her wanting to make dance her career, so they send her to a program in Taipei where she learns about her heritage and learns to speak Mandarin and uh, learns all these different things of her culture. Um, and so it's her adventures and it's based off of, well, both the uh, Abigail Hingwen was sent on this program. It is a real thing. And so she uses her experience to write her books. The second book, Love Boat Reunion, is coming out on, I think, January 25. If you want more information on it, you can check out my video with the books that are coming out. I believe that video will be going, if it's not already up, it will be up very soon. Um, so you should definitely check out that video. I believe it's, it's a sequel to this one, but this one is also being adapted. And so I don't know if more books are coming out. I kind of get the feeling that like, because this book did so well, there is a sequel rather than it's meant to be a long series but again i could be wrong but this one the second book in this series hasn't come out yet so it makes sense that i haven't read it but as soon as it does come out you better believe i'm going to be picking it up because i really much enjoyed this and if you want more thoughts on this book i read it during a dance themed reading vlog so again you can find the link to that like down below or above here you know here, wherever, something like that. Yeah, that is another duology. I thought this, when I picked it up, I thought it was going to be a standalone. Um, I didn't realize that there was going to be another book coming out when I read it, so it was an unintentional start of one, but I'm, I'm glad I started it though, because, ugh, oh, it was, I liked it a lot. Next I have A Song of Rice and Ruins, and this is by Roseanne A. Brown, the second book, A Psalm of Storm and Silence. I think that's what it's called. Um, I know it's red. Um, that book has come out and I just haven't picked it up yet. I was, I was thinking that I would probably buy it once I bought a new version of this because I am going to un unhaul this one uh, because it doesn't have a complete cover and it's kind of beat up. But yeah, for more information on that, you can see my unhaul video. But I did love this book, so I am repurchasing it and I should pick up the second book. I don't know why I haven't picked up the second one because I like this. So the last duology that I'm going to talk about, I don't own either of the books, but I would like to, and that is Wicked Fox by Cat Cho. I listened to the first one like a few years ago, and the second one, Vicious Spirits, has come out, and I do want to read it. I just, I haven't, and Again, I don't know why, because like I knew when it came out, because there was a lot of buzz when it came out, and for some reason I just never put a hold on the library for it. So I think that is something that next year in January I'm going to like put a hold on all the audiobooks of the uh, series that I haven't finished reading. Um, so yeah, but again, because I don't own the first one, I don't see it whenever I look at my bookshelves and think, oh, what should I read? Um, so I haven't picked it up and I think that's the thing when I buy books and series I buy the first book because if I don't like it then I don't want the entire series that's just a waste of money so then I would unhaul it um, but then if I read the first book and I like it then I need to get the next book but that's not as easy as it sounds 
I mean, it is it is a very easy thing to do is to go online and buy it or go to a bookstore and buy it. But like, I just I've been really bad about doing that. And now that I have a twenty dollar limit per month, I'm not going to be able to go out and buy all the next books in the series that I want to continue whenever I want. It's going to be a much slower process of getting those books. So, we'll see. But I, like I said, these are all series that I want to finish. So let's move on to trilogies now. I have something like 15 trilogies <laughs> that I haven't finished that I want to. And I say something like, because again, I don't know if they're going to be just trilogies, but I feel like there are a lot of trilogies, like more trilogies than series in the genres that I read. So... This is my biggest category by far. The first trilogy that I'm going to talk about, I've read the first two books, uh, but I haven't read the third, and I actually own the third. That's The Toll by Neil Shusterman in the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. I read the first one, Scythe. I read the second one, Thunderhead. I haven't read The Toll because I didn't want to pick it up immediately after finishing Thunderhead uh, because I wanted to just sit and mull over what just happened. But then, I just never, and then whenever I was like, okay, I should read The Toll, I would look at how, like, thick it is, and I would get a little intimidated, and I would say, you know, I can wait a little bit longer. But now it's been, like, a couple years, and I should really finish this. I, like I said, I actually own it, and I love the trilogy. I've been wanting to finish it, but it's just... If I finish it, that means it's done, but it's also so chunky. So I don't have a good excuse for not finishing this. I really don't. But it will be a goal next year is to finally finish this trilogy. <laughs> the next series that I'm going to talk about is one that I again started recently in Ghost Week for my reading, uh, spooky season reading extravaganza. Uh, so I read... <laughs> City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This was my first Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab or any of that human beings books that I've ever read. This was the first one. And I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. It is a middle grade series that follows a main character who can see ghosts. And so I read the first book, but there are two more. It's a trilogy. We're in the trilogy section. Um, and so it hasn't been that long since I've read it, you know, so it's been like two months. Um, so it makes sense that I haven't picked up the other ones. I think this might be, this might be a trilogy where I buy the next one next spooky season, so I'll be less focused on finishing the trilogy as fast as possible and just enjoying it each spooky season. So, I'm not, I don't feel too pressured with this one. I think almost every book I read in Ghost Week was probably some form of series or trilogy because the other book that I read, The Summoning, is also the first in a trilogy. Now, the thing is, I was gifted this entire trilogy, so I actually have the second and third in this trilogy, but again, because it was part of my reading extravaganza, I didn't read the entire trilogy. I like this book, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars, I thought, you know, it's fine. It's a bit of an older book, and I don't know how well it's aged. Like, it's it's YA, but it's like old YA, so it's a little younger. Uh, but I have the rest of the trilogy, and it's probably a series that I am going to just pick up and finish soon and not wait for next spooky season, just because, like, like I don't mind. It's, 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 a, it's a trilogy, it's a solid trilogy that I think I just want to finish. So this will be a priority for next year as well. The next series I'm going to talk about is the Skullamance Trilogy by Naomi Novik. And I'm sorry, you can hear like our door moves every time a neighbor opens their door or the door to go outside the building. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but I again read A Deadly Education for my Dark Academia reading vlog. I love this book. Uh, the second book, The Last Graduate, just came out last month, so it was a recent release, so it makes sense why I haven't picked it up yet. And then I believe there is going to be a third book. I think Goodreads says that there is going to be three, but we know absolutely nothing about the third one because, you know, the second one just came out. So I hope to pick up The Last Graduate soon, and this is, this is the trilogy where as soon as the book comes out, I want to pick it up and read it. I'm not going to wait for spooky season, but because it's still coming out, it'll still be a bit of time. But 
Oh my gosh, I love this one and I'm so looking forward to the next book. Moving on, I have the Deathless Trilogy by Namina Forna. So the first one is the Gilded Ones. The second book, The Merciless Ones, is coming out next year. So it makes perfect sense why I haven't picked it up. Like, I'm not under stress at all. But I know as soon as that book comes out, I'm going to want to read it. So not, not too much to say about this one because it's not my fault that I haven't finished the series. Normally, I like to wait until the series is completely out before I start it, just so I can do one right after the next, and I don't have to deal with this long wait in between, and I won't forget things that happen, hopefully. But with this one, I just couldn't resist. When I, when I picked it up, I didn't know it was gonna be the first in a series, but I'm not mad. Um, so yeah, I really should be, for a lot of these, just waiting until all the books come out and then making a video saying series I need to finish because there are a lot more on here than I realized that the series is still coming out so it's not always my fault that I haven't read them but there are still quite a few on here where the series is completely out and it is completely my fault that I have not finished them. Let's move on. So the next one is The Storm Runner and I do not, it's like J.P. Cervantes I think? Um, it's a Rick Riordan Presents, so it's a middle grade, and it focuses on Mexican mythology, and I enjoyed listening to it. Obviously, I don't own it. The second book just came out, so again, not my fault. I have no idea how many books are going to be in this trilogy. Or, or, pff, nobody, no idea how many books are going to be in the trilogy. Nobody, no idea how many books are going to be a series. It could be a tri trilogy, it could be a duology, it could be more, less, I do not know. Uh, but I'm inserting it here because the second book just came out. Next up is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the first in its trilogy, which I know is a trilogy. The second book, The Hawthorne Legacy, somewhere in the stacks around me. I think it's at, it's at the bottom of the stack right here. So I'm not going to pull it out. But I own the first two. I read the first one. And the third one is coming out next year, and it's called The Final Gambit. So the fact that it says final in the title makes me think it's only going to be a trilogy, and that's going to be it. And I'm really excited to read the second one. The second one, The Author and Legacy, has been on my fall TBR, my December TBR, my winter TBR. <laughs> so I, I, I keep saying I'm going to read it, and then, I, and then I'm not. So again, it's going to be a priority for next year. Because it's on my winter TBR, I'm hoping to have it done by February, by the time winter is done-ish. Ish. ish. <laughs> so, and then by that point, I should be all set to go for when the final Gambit comes out. And then hopefully I will get a copy of that and read it and just be done. The next one is a series that I don't own any of the books. All of the books are out, though. So this is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. I've read Serpent to Dove, I've read Blood and Honey, and Gods and Monsters is out. I just haven't read it yet. I think my, my issue was that when I read Blood and Honey, I, I didn't like it quite as much, but I also had to wait for God and Monsters to come out, and then by the time God and Monsters did come out, I was like, I don't remember anything past the halfway point of Blood and Honey, so I needed to reread Blood and Honey, Except that I remember not liking it near as much as Serpent and Dove, so I don't want to reread it. And it's it's this cycle. It's this plummeting cycle of I need to reread it so I can read this book, but I don't want to. But if I start the third book, I'm going to be so confused. So I'm kind of in this maybe physically reading will be nicer, but if I'm going to physically read it, then I need to start at the beginning and buy Serpent and Dove before I can get blood and honey and then gods and monsters plus i'm nervous for gods and monsters i haven't seen that many reviews of it which is kind of strange but i think it's because people kept putting the series down after blood and honey but i want to finish it i hate not finishing series unless i absolutely hated a book so i i just need to suck it up buttercup and reread blood and honey maybe i'll enjoy it more now that my expectations are significantly lowered <laughs> and then I can move on and finish the trilogy. Then I have another Rick Riordan Presents and this is the Paula Santiago 
The first one is In the River of Tears, and I read that one. The second one came out recently, and I have not read it. I think it's going to be a trilogy. I do not know. The one came out, so I should read it, but I just haven't gotten there yet. And again, with Rick Riordan Presents books, I, I want to read them because they all sound interesting because they're all mythology, and I love mythology, but I also want to own them. So I'm also just kind of like, oh, I don't want to read the next Paula Santiago until I buy the first one. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of putting myself in a rut with this one. <laughs> I keep saying the next one or moving on because I feel like it gets very repetitive. So I'm just going to say The Crown of Shards is another trilogy. Uh, I read Kill the Queen, this one, this is the first one. Protect the Prince is the second one, and I got it from the library, and I started to read it, but I just wasn't feeling it in the moment. Um, so, and this is another one of those trilogies where I want to read it from the library first, because I don't know if I'm going to keep this book or not because of it. I like it enough to keep it for now, but like I said, Protect the Prince I can just get from the library, and once I am in the mood for it, which I think right now could be a mood for it, um, I am going to read it. All the books are out. All the books were out before I picked this one up. So it's like kill the queen, protect the prince, and something with the king. It's This is very much a book that because I didn't like it quite as much as I wanted to, I am less motivated to read it. So I need to be in the right mood. So I don't feel bad about that. Because I'm in the right mood right now, I feel like, oh, maybe I should go to the library and pick it up. But other than that, I don't feel bad. I'll get to it eventually when I feel like it and when the time is right, you know? Because sometimes for some books, the time has to be right. Oh, the next book is way up there, so I'm not going to grab it because I'm sitting down and my body does not want me to move. Uh, but that is Binti. There, it's a very small book and I actually read this for uh, my old English class and I liked it a lot. So I own the first one. There are three. I I haven't seen it in stores quite as much, probably because I don't really go to the sci-fi area near as much. Um, but yeah, I am interested in finishing this trilogy. I didn't initially plan on finishing the trilogy because it was a book I read for university. But the more I thought about it, and the more I think about it now, I'm like, yeah, I I would I enjoyed it enough outside of school to want to read it. So. This next one is interesting because I don't quite know what's going on with it. It's the it's the legacy of Orisha. So, uh, Children of Blood and Bone, I read Children uh I'm blanking on the second one, but I read the first two and those are the two that have come out. It looks like there might be a third, but it's just been a while and I haven't heard anything on that front. And I know the second one didn't quite go over as well. So I don't quite know what's happening with this series. If there is a third one that comes out, I am interested in reading it. Otherwise, I'm caught up. I'm going to give it another like two years. And if no third book comes out, then I finish the series and it shouldn't be on this list. But if a third one does come out, then, you know, I'll pick it up and I'll read it. But for now, I'm caught up, which is pretty good for me. We're almost there with the trilogies because the next one that I'm going to talk about is the Bone Witch trilogy. Uh, I was getting these books through the library and I read the first one, I read the second one, and I cannot for the life of me remember if I read the third one. I really don't think I did, but I also remember almost nothing from the second one. Like, I was just confused and felt like I was almost zoned out just the entire book. So I want to reread definitely the second one, if not also the first one, and just kind of restart the trilogy. I know I love the first one, so I don't quite know what happened with the second one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so all the books are out. I was reading it as the third book was coming out, um, so that's just another trilogy that I need to get back into. Now for this one, when I picked up the first one, I didn't know it was part of a trilogy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all three books are out right now. I th Yeah, all three books are out. I don't think there are more coming, uh, but that is Alive by, this is the Generation Trilogy by Scott Sigler. I own the first one, Alive, and I've only read the first one. 
Um, this is a sci-fi series, which I don't read a lot of sci-fi, but I did enjoy this one. There was a huge twist at the end, which I really loved. Um, and so I, but the, the thing is, is that reading the description for the second book and like knowing what the twist is, I, I think I'll like it. Like I'm still going to read it and give it a try, but it's not one that really captured my interest. So it's kind of one of the ones where I'd be fine not finishing, but I also want to finish for the sake of finishing. And also what if I end up really loving the second one, like the first one? So it's not going to be a priority. And the last, the last one, the last trilogy is one that I just started and I actually finished the first book two days before filming this video. So I knew that I was going to be filming this video and I realized halfway through reading this book that, oh, this is a, this is a trilogy that I, I would include, but it's not that bad. So, uh, it's the name of the world trilogy. I can't remember the name of the world because it wasn't mentioned much in the book. Um, but it's like Emerson or something and more something. Anyway, the first book is The Hunt of the Grimalkin. There are, it's a trilogy, but it also has a companion novel to the trilogy. You don't need to read the trilogy to read the companion novel and vice versa. So I finished this first one a couple days ago. I read it in a day. I own all the books in the trilogy and the companion novel. So really, I, to me, it feels more like a series just because there are four books in the world, but technically it's a trilogy. So I, and the books are all super short. Like, like I said, I read this one in a day, and I honestly think I could finish the trilogy in a day, and then maybe even read the companion novel in the same day, or like the day after. So I, this is one that I want to make a priority just because I can get it done very soon. So I think sometime in like January or February, I'm just gonna have like a weekend. Maybe I'll even do a reading vlog, just reading all the books in this trilogy because I have them and I am interested in finishing the trilogy, so. So now we can move on to series, finally, the last category. The series one is a little bit complicated because there are a couple series where technically what I'm talking about is a trilogy, but there are more books. So for example, this first one, I do not own any of them. Uh, it, there's the main trilogy, and then there are like a couple other trilogies or duologies or just other books in the same universe. So that is the, the Grishaverse. I read Shadow and Bone, and then that's the only thing in the Grishaverse that I read. So I was borrowing this series from a friend in high school. I borrowed the first one, I read it, I borrowed the second one, but I didn't have enough time to read it. And then we graduated and I moved to a different country. So I didn't get to borrow the books from her. And then I kind of forgot about it for a little bit, but then when I joined booktube, it's really hard to forget about the Grishaverse because, you know, it's everywhere, um, as it should be. But I was like, oh my word, I need to finish that. But because the adaptation was coming out, people were really excited for it. And so when I went to the library to finish the series, it wasn't there. And there were such long lines on the holds, so I just, I never got access to the rest of the main trilogy. And I don't want to read the other books until I finish the main trilogy. And I, and I didn't want to buy the trilogy quite yet, I just kind of wasn't ready for it. So I, hopefully now that everybody has read the books, I can go to the library and finish the initial trilogy, and then I'll buy the trilogy and then I will continue on with the Grisha verse. So I put this one under series because I want to read all of the Grisha verse. And I have seen season one of Shadow and Bone, I will say, but I don't want to watch season two, two until I've read the second book. Makes sense. But yeah, that's, that's also just a slightly intimidating one just because of how much there is in the world and how far behind everyone else I am. Um, I want to read it and I want to enjoy it, but I don't want to be like judged or feel like I'm so far behind everyone else. So I've been debating if I want to do a reading vlog for that one as well, but I also, again, I feel like it's too late because everyone else put up their reading vlogs and reread reading vlogs of it like way back at the very first season, so... I'm very late to the game, I know, but I want to be in the game, but I'm just subtly flying under the radar for now. 
Let's talk about the Shatter Me series by Tara Mafi. I read the first one, Shatter Me, over audiobook. And then none of the rest of the series was on audiobook. And I don't like switching formats. If I start something on audiobook, I want to finish it on audiobook. If I start reading something physically, I want to finish it physically. Yes, I am holding Unravel Me, the second book. I haven't read it. Because again, I want the audiobook. But I need to get over it. I also think I need to reread the first one. So I think I'm going to buy eventually the first book, Shatter Me, reread it, and then I can read this one, and then I can continue with the series. I don't care that other people say, like, the initial trilogy is better, and the last added on three are, like, meh. I'm still gonna read it all, no matter what, but I just, I need to, I need to get a better handle on my access to this series first. Again, I know I'm so late to the game here, but I don't really care. And then I also have uh, the School for Good and Evil series. I, again, I think there, it's a main trilogy, but then there are other books within the world. So I'm counting it as more of a series rather than just the trilogy because I want to read it all. Um, I own the first and the second one. I read the first one and the second one, again, has been on my TBR. It's on like my December TBR, my winter TBR, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think I'll get to it until next year in January, but who knows. Uh, but yeah, this is a series I'm definitely going to prioritize and I am hoping to buy the third one soon. So like I am very much prioritizing this series, A, because I love the series, B, there's an adaptation coming out. So yes, I, I need to read the second book and I hope to read it soon once I finish all the prompts for the Reindeer Readathon. And then I will focus on some of my other books. So this is a top priority. This next one, again, is a trilogy technically, but I'm counting it as a six book series because, so the My Lady Janies, which are Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows, wrote three books in the My Lady Janie series, so it's technically a trilogy. Here I have My Calamity Drain. Technically, they're all companion novels, though, because, like, they don't feed one after another. You don't have to read My Calamity Jane in order to read, like, My Lady Jane or whatever the other one, My Plain Jane. Um, so, it's, it's, I guess it's not really a series, and I know I said I wasn't including, like, companions, but, um, but they also have, they're starting on their Marys, so they have, like, My Contrary Mary. So I want to read them. I've only read this one, and I started with this one because I thought it would be my least favorite. Uh, but yeah, I just haven't gotten to the rest of them. I'm, I'm not in a rush, but I would really like to because I've been wanting to read more historical fiction anyway, but there's, this is like historical fiction and also like not even close to reality because they put these really fun little magical twists on them. So yeah, but this, this is another one that I have started and want to continue. So the next two that I'm going to talk about are actually manga and so I'm including them on this list because you know they're series they have multiple volumes uh, but I am working my way through these at a pretty decent pace but I fear that I'm about to slow down. So I have Spy X Family. This is still coming out. I believe their volume 7 is coming out sometime next year. I pre I ordered the first six volumes and I pre-ordered the seventh one but because uh, so many of them were out of stock I only got volumes four and six but I've only read volumes one and two so as soon as three five get here I can be caught up and then I'll get the seventh one when it comes out so this one is not my fault. I'm in a pretty good place. As soon as I get the books, I'm going to read them because, like, I just fly through manga. Uh, but then I, there's also Horomiya. And for this one, I was sent volumes 1, 2, 4. But I read through volume 6 because I have a friend of mine who has these. Um, so, again, I'm not, like, caught up. But the thing is, is that I want to buy all the volumes before I continue reading. Uh, but my friend... If he buys the next few volumes, then I'm going to read them. So it's kind of dependent on who gets there first. If he 
buys them first or if I catch up and then buy them next. So again, no real pressure to read these because I'm, I'm working on it and it's, it's great. I love it. Oh my goodness. Two more left. Hang in. I know this is a long video. It's, it's long on me too. Trust me. But this next one also has interesting stories, of course, because all of these have stories that I think are interesting but are probably super boring. Uh, but that is, so Stocking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. It took me so long. I started reading this two years ago. All the books are out. There are four books in the series. Carrie Maniscalco has moved on to writing her next series. But it took me a very long time to get my hands on the second book. Not my fault. I ordered it through Thrift Books and then Thrift Books decided to cancel it and not give me my money back and not tell me that they canceled it. It was a whole, whole thing. But I finally got the second book, Hunting Prince Dracula, and I read it this past spooky season. But because I enjoyed reading this for spooky season last year and then uh, Hunting Prince Dracula this past year, I'm thinking I'm going to buy the next book, the next two books, the Houdini one and Capturing the Devil in the next two years for each spooky season because they've just been great about reading at spooky season. So again, not super pressure filled. I mean, if I get the books faster than that, I will read them faster than that because I do love the series, but again, not the biggest priority and it's okay. Finally, the last series that I started and not finished. I don't think the series is actually finished coming out, but the first six books are out. The sixth book came out earlier this year. So that is the Wayward Children series by Shauna McGuire. I own the first two. I've read the first two. I recently bought these and I recently read the second one. Uh, I read it in December. So like, I'm working my way through it. Again, it's one of those where once I buy the next book, I will read it. And so I will be slowly buying the series. I would love to finish it, and I will, obviously, but again, it's one that I'm going to take my time because I have so many other series in this stack that I want to, like, finish now, or I have all the books now, so I think if I focus my attentions on reading all the series where all the books have come out already, I can finish those, and then by the time I turn my attention back to the series where books are still coming out, they will have come out, so... Hopefully this all works out. I Let's count how many series that was. That was 29 series. I have started 29 series and I have not finished them. I I swear I do complete series occasionally. I have completed series before in my life. Um, and I will probably start more series next year. But I'm hoping that I can really get this list down to a smaller list to where it's just series where I'm waiting on the next book. So if I could get 29 down to like 10 this year, that would be great. I would be very happy. I would be satisfied. So thank you for sticking with me if you've made it to this point to the long through this long video. Let me know down below what series you have started that you haven't finished, whether it's because you're waiting for the next book or you just haven't picked it, the next one up yet. Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, otherwise, subscribe. I normally post on Sundays and Wednesdays. I also have bookish social media down below that you can find and follow and we can be friends and then I can see what you're reading and we can recommend books to each other, which I think sounds fun. Uh, but yeah, until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.